Have you ever met someone who goes about beating their own chest and all the things they've achieved in life, all of their material goods, and they're proud of the things they say they have done in life? Have you ever met someone who thinks they have all the answers on everything? They, uh, good morning, Facebook as well. Good to have you with us this morning. This 13th of November, we've entitled this video, God resisteth the proud, but gives grace to the humble. We all struggle with pride. We all have a predisposition to selfism. It's because of Satan's warfare. The prince and the power of the air that works in the children of disobedience. For the first from the first that thou didst set thine heart to understand to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. Thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth, inhabiteth eternity. Whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken spirit and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Thou, God, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. I just read from Daniel 10:12, Isaiah 57:15, Psalm 51:17, Psalm 138:6, 1 Peter 5:6, James 4:6 and 7, and Psalm 86:5 through 7. Well, we must remind ourselves that we are created beings, that we are nothing apart from the grace of God, that if we have done anything, it's because of God's grace, it's not because of anything that we've done. We must realize that He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. We must also remember that pride is a very, very destructive thing. When we start relying upon ourselves, we rely upon our own abilities, our own intelligence, our own um, aptitude, our own IQ. IQ should be iniquitous quotient, iniquitous quotient, not intelligence quotient, iniquitous quotient. For those who rely upon their own intelligence, they are of all men most miserable. Every time I see someone who is putting all their emphasis in their doctors and their degrees and their PhD degrees and their master's degrees, makes you want to shake your head, doesn't it? 
all of the exaltation of the creature that has gone on with this Judge Barrett. Now she's at the top, the top of her class. Notre Dame, Catholic, Roman Catholic teachings. And how they're pushing and exalting the Roman Catholic system. There, if she's appointed, that will be seven Roman Catholics on the Supreme Court. A doctrine of works, a doctrine of exaltation of the creature, a doctrine of secular academia. She says she believes in the power of prayer. Who's she praying to? She's not praying to the same Jesus that I pray to. Is she praying to Mary? Is she praying to her patron saint? Is she praying to the dead? Is she involved in necromancy? Does she confess her sins to a priest? Does she exalt Pope Francis? You know she does. Well, he is the head of the Roman Catholic Church. He is the pontiff. He is the vicar of Christ, as, he, as the church says. Pompous. Pompous pomp, pontiff. Pompous pontiff. We are told to call no man father on the earth. We are told to call no man master or rabbi. They like the chief seats in the councils, chief seats in the synagogues.